hey guys welcome to my channel in this video you will see how I completely demolish the inside of my van um, this video may be of no use to you and it's kind of long uh, if you take anything out of this video it's that you might want to spend that extra amount of money to get a cargo van so you can skip this entire process also because I started this project in the middle of summer in Las Vegas it was really hot so it took longer than expected and I ended up taking out more things than I was planning to as well like the ceiling and shelving but yeah I guess if you want to watch a clumsy person try to take out and demolish a van then stay tuned I was worried I thought the AC might not work because how old this thing is but let me tell you it's over 100 degrees right now, and this is working amazing. Oh, and here's the inside, since I didn't film it earlier. Uh, obviously, all of this is going to get taken down. I maybe even want to change these seats out in the future. Um, they're not the most comfortable, but surprisingly for a 92 vehicle, this has like automated seat adjustments like wow it was ahead of its time <laughs> well that was actually a lot easier than I thought there's a lever right here that <laughs> you can twist and the seat comes up immediately so I think I'm going to have to take off this whole panel to actually be able to slide it out so that's cool um yeah there's also a lot of um dead bugs and stuff like that hidden in a bunch of the shelves so that's also kind of cool honestly i'm just gonna try to take out as many like loose accessories like that nintendo this tv um i managed to get one of the seats out like carry it out that thing was heavy um then yeah, one, one step at a time. This thing come down. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. oh, we did it. Hooray. Okay, well, this opens up a lot more storage, but it also opens up a can of wires. What does all this mean? I don't understand. <gasps> Where'd my back seats go? So, no. This rear folding bed seat did not just magically disappear. I looked online and some people with the similar model vehicle said that the bolts of the folding bench seat were welded into the undercarriage and they had to use the angle grinder to get it out so i was like there's no way i'm doing that especially by myself what i did is i posted the seat on offer up i listed it for free i said it's yours as long as you can get it out so these two guys came and they didn't even have to use the angle grinder they just got it out by holding the bolt in place underneath and using a ratcheted wrench on the four bolts. So it actually wasn't that bad, um, but they still needed the two of them to do it. So that was totally a win-win. I got it out for free. They got a free, still in good condition folding seat. All that's left for now is getting rid of this ugly ass carpet. Yeah. That's pretty much my main objective for now. So I'm actually having to take out more than I expected. At this point, I want to take out the ceiling too, but this lining through the center is what's going to make it tough. But the headliner is drooping like, ow, why did I do that? Okay, but it's drooping. So, and I'll show you guys, there's, wood planks 
up here so I could easily attach a sheet of plywood which would stay up and I'd have a little more head space. Maybe I could like fully straight stand up without hunching. Um, but also these cabinets, although they look nice, what's with all this space wasted? I could put so many things in there. So unfortunately, these are gonna have to go at some point too. So yeah, I don't know, it's too bad. There was a lot of things I wanted to try to keep, <clears throat> but it doesn't make sense if I'm living in here. I should be comfortable and have a lot of space and a lot of this isn't functional. So as you can see, I got pretty far along with the demolishing last night. Oh, and this is why you don't wear shorts while doing heavy manual labor. Clearly, I didn't learn my lesson. Um, but weird thing is, I could not figure out what the fuck this thing was. It has a tube going down the middle. So I asked the old owner what it was, and I guess it used to be a cooler, which I don't even get how it works. There is no button to turn it on or off so I think I'm just gonna cut this tube and figure out what to do with it hopefully that won't do anything bad in the end by cutting that off but this thing is so gross and ugly I, I can't leave it like there's two of them so that's gotta go and the carpet's coming out today so it looks like the flooring is in really great condition which is awesome i'm not going to have to brush off rust and patch up holes like I thought I was. Woohoo! Okay, I'm pretty sure this back side's going to be easy because I can just pull it out. This part was just tough because I'm leaving this chair in, so I had to like cut carpet around and cut it into sections. If you're wondering why I'm keeping this chair right now, it's because it has a swivel under it, so I want to switch it with the passenger seat. Um, and then once I get this up there, then I'll throw out the third seat. Okay, so I am pretty pooped from taking out the carpet. It only took about an hour and a half, which isn't that bad, but it was just tiring because I had to like crouch down a lot and this blade that I was using was not that good. So I'd have to like keep striking it in one spot to cut it. But it looks so nice. So since I'm pretty tired, I think I'm just going to do some simple things before I call it a night, and that is, I thought I'd get a amount of stuff today, but I'm going to use this little metal brush to brush out these little, like, rusty, not great looking parts. Um, I'll probably patch it up tomorrow. Tonight I'm just going to brush it down, and also, because I have a lot of exposed wire now, I have this. And there's electrical tape somewhere I'm not going to look for right now, but I need to cap all these wire ends that are everywhere because there was so many like weird lights and random shit, whatever. You don't care. Point is, I'm going to wrap up wires and brush rust and yeah. <laughs> Now to fill up these holes that were left after the seats were taken out. I'm using this mesh tape-like thing. I forget what it's called. It's for repairs as well as Bondo body filler. So this shelf unit is a little tricky to get out because it has these screws in here. So that part's easy, but then there's also screws up here and I was like 
on the other side I got it off but I was like fidgeting around how to get to it I tried to like undo these and then reach from behind that didn't work when it's open can't really go under because of this thing so you have to kind of like squeeze through here and like like here's one right here you gotta just squeeze it in there and screw it out um but yeah i got it out so okay so this is why this shit is kind of tricky because now there is one up here that's going at an angle opposite to the angle I can go in. So, I don't fucking know how to get it out. And the fucking headliner is falling on me as I'm trying to do this. breaking this thing in. Okay, it's slowly coming, finally. So I guess if you can't get at the right angle, just break it in. Well, as soon as I took off those shelves, the ceiling carpet peeled off quite easily. And now I have this beautiful exposed wood and foam on my ceiling. Okay, so I figured out a technique. It's actually not much of a technique, but I'm literally just gonna pull this out. to do this to myself so demolition is complete uh, I ended up just taking out the seat like the other one because I'm not going to switch it with the passenger seat anymore I took it to a shop and they pointed out a huge thing I missed that even if I put a swivel seat here the center console is in the way so I might have to spend a few hundred dollars to have them switch it out because it would take a few hours and it probably wouldn't even swivel anyways. So I guess that that dream is out the window. Uh, but everything else in this backside is ready for the build. So can finally start the real process of converting my van into a camper.